Good morning, everyone. So I just want to thank Pastor Teresa for just allowing me to share um, during this time. So my story is I grew up in Mililani in a non-Christian home. My parents were amazing and did whatever they needed to do to provide for me and my brother. They provided a roof over our head, foods in our mouth, and clothes on our back. At a young age, things have happened to me that has caused me to have trust issues, especially with my parents. The sense of not being protected made me sad, angry, and what I didn't know at the time caused a lot of insecurities inside of me. Fast forward to my junior year in high school, there was a disconnect between me and my parents. So I moved out and I moved in with my aunt who, li who lived here in Waihua, changed schools and thought life was great. Moving forward to my adult life at age 27, I had two kids, had been through two marriages and divorced twice. Then I met my wonderful husband, Chris, in 2001. And from the first day we met, I thought life was so perfect. I had my kids, he had his son. We were a blended family, but I thought it all, I had it all figured out. We had our son, Zachary, in 2003 and not married. It was not until 2006 we decided to get married because I kind of forced him to. <laughs> oh, we had our son, Isaac, in 2007. Isaac is the only child that was not born out of wedlock. But I always knew that something was missing. A friend that I had worked with at the time invited me to church, and I didn't hesitate to say yes. But I didn't realize I had to do the work, too. I just thought, OK, so I just pray, ask God for all the things that I need and want, and he'll give it to me, right? Not so much. So I got involved. I took the New Believers class, attended small groups, and life was good, but still not good enough according to my standards. So I left. I had been invited to a women's retreat where I met Pastor Teresa for the first time. She prayed for me, and later we met for coffee, and I shared with her my prayer requests for my husband's salvation. It was not until a few years later that we reconnected. In April of 2011, our journey at New Hope in Haleiwa began. I joined the worship team. In April of 2013, I, our family got baptized. Soon after, Chris joined the Levitical team, and we were surrounded by so much love and support. We were growing. Still wounded by my past, I just put a band-aid on it and moved on, thinking that I was doing all the right things so it would all just go away. But it all caught up to me and overwhelmed me. I have been through inner healing and deliverance twice and didn't think I needed to do anything else but just live. In the later part of 2018, I started to disconnect and isolate again. Because my pain from my past was just becoming too much. I disconnected from the worship team, disconnected from Pastor Teresa, who at the time was a very dear friend of mine, a mentor, a leader in my life, along with the rest of her family, the Rosario Ohana. And I soon found myself feeling ashamed and too embarrassed to reach out to anyone and no longer wanting to go to church. In the summer of 2019, our family decided to transition to New Hope in, from New Hope in Haleiwa to New Hope in Mililani. Then COVID hit. For me, one of the greatest things that happened because of it, we now had the opportunity to join all three campuses to be one. Pastor Glenn called me or texted me and invited me to be a part of the worship team here. That is when the true healing and forgiveness began for me. I attended a healing and deliverance class and after being prayed for, learned how to walk out my journey of freedom. Only then did I experience what true forgiveness felt like and relationships were reconciled. 
including my relationship with Pastor Teresa. I'm still in the process of forgiving my family members and those who have hurt me in my past, but I am so thankful for authentic community and that I'm surrounded by so many people that partner with me on this journey. I'm so thankful that this relationship that I have with Pastor Teresa is a testament of God's goodness. A testament of forgiveness, reconciliation, a friendship, a sisterhood that is like no other. So I think I just want to encourage you, if you have any unforgiveness in your heart or if God put that on your heart this morning, let it go.